Hi, this is Ken Chan from Swiss Pet Resources. We are the sub distributor for RiJ and RiE products based in Malaysia. Today, I'm going to share with you on how to configure the RiJ RiE RG EW1200 G Pro as an access point or known as wired repeater. First, we need to ensure that the LAN cable is plugged into the LAN port number one or number two or number three on your existing broadband router. Let's say for example, if you are on Maxis or DG or Time, all the port number one, two, three, you can plug in except port number four, which usually reserved for IPTV or uh, VOIP gateway. So the first end is we are plugged into LAN port number one and on the other end at the router we plug into the yellow port which is the one port. Then we power on the device and let it boot up. After the light is constantly on then we can proceed with the configuration. Before that make sure you download and install Reach a Cloud app from your App Store or iStore. Register yourself an account, activate it, and sign on. Okay. When done, this is what you're going to see after you sign on and launch the app. Click on Projects. On the top right, there's a plus button. Okay. Now, we need to do this before we can proceed. Turn on your Wi-Fi, turn on your location, and turn off your mobile data. Then click back. Back again. From here, you click yes. Then click start. Click OK. From here, it asks you to connect to Elias 3G SSIDs. Click connect. Scroll through. OK. Connect to. From here, you can see Elias 3G SE91D. That's the default. SSID factory set by the RE router. Okay, it will come automatically, it will launch this page. However, do not click on the configure. Just click back button of your mobile phone. Back again. Okay, from here, is there only one AP in your network? Click yes, continue. Start config, project name, give it a project name, I call it RE, password, put any password that you like. In my case, I put RE123, okay, select a project scenario. You can choose the type, which usually this one is meant for home and villa. You just choose based on that, click next. Make sure no spacing yeah, on the project name. Choose DACP, next. This means the connection to internet is succeeded. So right now, it will try to do a speed test. So for a start click, test again. There you go. This is just an initial speed test. It doesn't optimize in terms of the Wi-Fi performance yet. So click next. Okay, this is the place where you're going to give your new Wi-Fi or extended Wi-Fi and SSID. 
So for example, like you want it to be different from your existing ISP provided SSID, maybe we can call it re-e. Put a password for your Wi-Fi. Double check. Make sure the country is selected properly or else you will not get the best signal out of the EW gateway. Click save. It will do all the setting and push over to the router from our mobile phone. Now, the SSID is already being prepared. Now we need to try to connect to our newly created SSID. Click connect. Okay, choose. By close on the re -E. password. Connect. You see, currently it's still connected as 2.4 because we haven't optimized the router setting yet. We're going to do that now. Click back. There you go. This is the conf configuration complete page where you can see that from here, you were able to see the topology of your internet connection, which is the internet from your router and then to your extended, newly configured re-e home router. Now, we're going to optimize the SSID to make the unit run faster. So click on the toolkit. It will launch to this page. Let's check our setting. Click on Wi-Fi management. Click on re-e. Okay, the SSID is re-e. The password is correct. Now, please click on the 5G prior. 5G prior is also known as band steering in any other brands of routers. This one put any new device that able to support 5 gigahertz band Wi-Fi will be prioritized to connect for this router. We recommend you to use the 5G is due to you able to get a higher performance and transfer speed from your Wi-Fi. Click save. And on the Retail Cloud app, you will see the Re-E is already created, the profile. So we click and go in again. Now we click on site. And we can check again, do a network test. Click start. You can do multiple location tests with this. It will able to give you an overview of, let's say for example, now we are in living room. We do a start test. From here, you can see the negotiation speed is still 173. By right, you should, get eight, you should get more than that. One thing is that just now after we do the 5G band steering enable, we have to reconnect our Wi-Fi. Let's do that. Off the Wi-Fi. On back. Now we can check. You get on 5G. Let's do the speed test again. Back. Start test again. There you go. And you get a higher speed. It will take some time for it to self-learn on the negotiation speed. And by right, if you are within one meter away, you should able to get 866. Provided your mobile phone come with the higher performance Wi-Fi card, you will able to enjoy it. Call this living room.
Now you can walk to your room or kitchen, do a speed test again. Now you see the negotiation speed is increasing. Name this as kitchen. And click OK. Then you click view report. You are able to see the whole report. Signal coverage should be excellent. Roaming because you only got one unit. There's no roaming. Location experience excellent. Then you can see all the devices online. The location one you can get. Uh, where, where you are and the speed from here you can share to any of your friend click back back now we're going to turn this unit into a uh, okay currently we are not able to access our printers because this is sitting on a different set of network so in order to make it sit on the same network with your ISP or your Maxis broadband or TEM Unify router we need to change the, uh, the operation mode into an AP mode so close this, this app open Google Chrome go to 192.168 dot one one zero dot one enter password as per configured just now from here click on more click on repeater change to wire repeater and click check okay and click save it will attempt to reconnect the Wi-Fi in order to get the new sets of IP the new sets of IP would be 192.168.0 due to my main network is under the subnet of 192.168.0.x Let's check There you go, you will be able to see that currently our IP will change to 192.168.0.113 which is my main network subnet do a speed test again It's working fine now. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.